Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about boarding passes and your Apple wallet. And more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question that I've gotten a lot recently on my other video. And that is, can you add a PDF boarding pass to your Apple wallet? And the short answer is no. No, you cannot add a PDF boarding pass to your Apple wallet, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's not really Apple wallets fault unless they develop some sort of technology or open up some sort of program that you can add PDFs into your Apple wallet. A lot of times it's pretty because of the airline, they don't have the technology or they haven't adopted the link in order to add your boarding pass into your Apple wallet. So for example, this one right here, this is my boarding pass that the, I received from Avianca and it's just a PDF. So the only way that I can add this boarding pass into my Apple wallet is if I go through the app and the website and then add it in as an Apple wallet with a special link that says Apple wallet. A lot of times the only way to access that is going to be by checking in through that particular airline app. Once you've checked in the boarding pass, you can add it into your Apple wallet. However, if you don't see that and they only send you a PDF boarding pass, a workaround on this, which is kind of annoying, is what you're going to want to do is let me show you the boarding pass here. Okay, guys. So here is my boarding pass here. Sorry, I'm trying to cover it up because you guys are pretty sneaky. I don't want you showing up in my house. However, this is the boarding pass. So usually what I'm going to do is if they only send me a PDF boarding pass or ticket because I purchased the ticket through a travel agency, not through the airline line itself for some reason. Usually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to screenshot this thing. So once you screenshot it, you want to go ahead and do a couple of different things with it because wherever you're traveling, you might not have Wi-Fi. So usually what I'll do is I'll screenshot it and then save it into my photos. I'll make a special folder for it. I will also upload it into my Google drive. So that does a couple of things. I can access it when I have Wi-Fi through my Google drive. And if I don't have Wi-Fi for some reason, I can access it through my screenshots and my photos. Also, if you're traveling with someone, you might want to share the photo with them. And that way, if one of you lose your phone, you can still access the ticket. So now I know that's not as easy as adding it into your Apple wallet, which is kind of unfortunate. Avianca actually does offer the Apple wallet feature. I'm just using them for an example. But if you happen to have a ticket that is only a PDF and you're trying to add it into your Apple wallet, unfortunately you cannot, but that's the best workaround that I know. However, if you're watching this video and you have a more efficient way to save your boarding pass, if you can't add your plane ticket, boarding pass into Apple Wallet. Leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.